he was the responsible taking all 350, 25 students taking their journey from Incheon port to the Jeju port. And when after the disaster happened, he sincerely apologizing to the family members and then he go up to the hill located near the Jindu gymnasium and he committed suicide and he found that because the journey that the ferry took, you don't have to take it by ferry. You can fly in an aeroplane, can't you? So he, he made a choice to go by ferry. The reason why he chose ferry because the using a ferry is m much more cheaper than using a plane or using a train, what we call KTX here in South Korea. There's a lot of ways to move on. Uh, from what you can glean, how are people reacting to this? I mean, there's been a lot of reaction that we can see here on, on social media. How have young people been reacting to this, this terrible disaster? Uh, first of all, you have to know that many South Koreans are using Facebook, also the Kakao story, which is a Korean SNS service. And they are writing this kind of art, this kind of photos or, or the, their postings are saying, I'm very deeply shocked and deeply saddened by this kind of disaster. And they are commonly saying all we have to do is just pray for the South Korea. As you heard about the hashtag pray for South Korea, they're having a movement to set with the hashtag pray for South Korea. And most of the young, well-known persons, especially like a singer or the K-pop artist, showing their concern and showing their respect for the family by using a tweet account. And I heard that many TV main channels canceling their broadcast of the entertainment program and also including the show program or the K-pop program. Can they already canceled this week to respect the family members. So we are in a very deaf sadness.